Greetings and praise the Lord. Welcome to our daily devotion. Um, we being our new year, it, we are um, are going to experience unusual encounters in this year and that is the message that the Lord gave us uh, for this year and uh, this week we have been handling the message on the new beginning and uh, we are on the fourth episode which is on peace and I would want you to just have a uh, listen to the other previous messages so that you see what is expected of us into that we can have an encounter in the new beginning because the new beginning is the new you. And um, I would like us to have a look at the word of God that is uh, in Isaiah 26 verses 3. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you. All whose thoughts are fixed on you. Perfect peace. That is what God has promised us. That we are going to have perfect peace. We are assured of perfect peace. Because there are many things that are taking place in our lives. Many changes. And um, some of these changes are probably maybe... Um, maybe having a new, moving to a new job or maybe a new department in your place of work or new new changes, maybe new school, new jobs, uh, new, maybe you have a um, new member in your family. Uh, there is always a change or probably even moved from one home to the other or even from one uh, county to the other, from one state to the other, from one country to the other. All these changes affect us. And uh, we, we are also sometimes um, uh, probably maybe some involved in accidents, health issues, marriages, uh, probably having issues in marriages, and even some in cases like financial loss. And you see, some of these actually, these adversities are causing us to get out of peace. They are, we are having emotional roller coaster. Anxiety would be actually the norm. But I'm here to encourage each one of you to know that uh, we know we can look beyond that because we have God who has a solution for every painful interruption in our life. Uh, we know he has, his, his peace is unshakable. It doesn't matter with the kind of adversity that is going to come on our way, but you know he can help us to handle uh, adversity uh, positively. We first have to depend totally on him. Your dependence has to be on God. Rely, relying on yourself, your strength, your difficult times. Sometimes uh, you, uh, it can bring disappointments. And uh, if some of us we end up in isolation, being alone. Let's trust him alone and you know what things are going to be okay. And in this situation, I'll just ask you when you are facing some of this anxiety, getting into a time of anxiety, I'll ask you to pray. Prayer is going to answer to usher in peace. Because as we look at Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 7, also from New Living Translation, it says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. So, we, you know, God, uh, the, the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard our hearts, our minds in Christ Jesus. So, let's pray. Prayer serves us to, uh, serves to keep our minds steadfast uh, on the Lord, our Prince of Peace, because Jesus is our Prince of Peace. Now, when we stay focused on Him, peace will be imparted in our lives. So let's uh, let's make sure that in whatever we are doing, whatever we whatever we are facing, every situation, let's know that the King of Kings is there to help us face all these adversities with confidence and even with the great strength, knowing that He's going to give us peace that passes all understanding. And then uh, uh, I would like us also to look at Romans chapter five, verses one to two. The Bible says, "Therefore, since." Um, uh, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us. Because of our faith, 
Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege where we now stand and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. Imagine being allowed to share even that. I'm telling you, this is something that is beyond us. But because God himself, he, um, we, he has, we have a right standing with God. Uh, we are right in God's sight by faith, not by anything, not by our actions, not because our parents were Christians or because my, our parents or even our grandparents were religious, but it is because of our own personal faith, believing in the Lord Jesus Christ, because of what he has done for us. You know, we have right standing with God. We can now experience peace with God because of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And uh, you know what? This faith, our faith, uh, our faith in Christ has brought us into the place of undeserved privilege. You know, we have the grace of God and deserved favor where we now stand and we confidently and joyfully look forward. To sharing God's glory. This is something. You know what it says um, in another version. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into his grace in which we now stand. We have been we can gain access by faith. And you know we have peace when we know that we have a right standing with God that we have been justified through our faith. Let's continue believing. And if you don't know the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior, have him as your Lord and Savior, and you're going to experience this peace we are talking about, peace like a river. You know, even in troubled times, in those uh, when you're facing those great waves in our lives, when our hearts are yearning for peace, uh, even when it seems impossible, you know, remember Daniel in the lion's den and even Paul, uh, the apostle Paul in the, um, uh, in the jail cell. Remember those, uh, the, the, but they were able to experience peace even when they were in those situations. It doesn't matter the kind of situation you are in. Maybe whatever you're encountering right now, probably you you have financial setbacks. Probably you're having debts, you don't even know how you're going to pay them. Uh, probably you're suffering physically ailments you have them but I'm here to let you know and probably maybe there's death in the family but I'm here to let you know that uh, even those darkest hours the Lord can give us inner peace the, the inner peace is always available for those one who knows him who know him because this is his promise he has promised us as you have read in his word but you know what we cannot sometimes we drift away and when we drift away from god's presence peace will will, will, will evade peace will vanish you know peace cannot just it can vanish when when we get away from the presence of god the only way you're going to have peace is when you remain connected you remain in the focused and even remain in the presence of god that way you're assured of peace but you evade from his presence then there is no peace because you're running away from peace you're the more you get the further you get away from the presence of god the more you continue to experience anxiety and even opening door for the enemy because the enemy wants you to be away from the presence of god so that he can find a way of uh, making a hole or even having a way right into your life so that he, he can he you can he can bring in the anxiety uh, or the adversities in life causing anxiety but you you stay in the presence of god and you know what the enemy will not have any pla any place near you because and, and even when you are facing these anxieties you you have you have the word of god you have the offensive spiritual weapons which god has given to us and that is the word of god you can combat lies with his truth with god's truth god's love for us is eternal he is forgiving. His peace and joy are with those who turn to him. So never try to get away from the presence of God. Because if you try to get away from his presence, then you know what? You can you the enemy will just strike. And you cannot, there's no way you're gonna get him out of your way. Then uh, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, 
um, the Bible continues to tell us. That is um, also from the New Living Translation. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. I like that version. Today's trouble is enough for today. And in another version it says, but seek first the kingdom of his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself each day has enough trouble of its own so you know what even as um, um the lord jesus christ himself is telling us not to worry about anything let's not like worry about life food drink or clothing jesus is um uh, has reminded us that God feeds the birds and clothes the, the grass. Since we are God's most valuable possessions, it stands uh, to reason that he will take care of us as well. So let anxiety not be the one controlling you. Uh, let's, be, uh, let's be exalted not to, uh, never to worry because you know worry leads to doubts. And when you doubt God, you know you never please him because it's only when you have faith that you'll be able to please God. So, to, so don't allow uh, or don't try to, to solve problems with your own strength. Allow God to be the one taking care of you. Give him uh, the, his position. Focus on him and, um, and God is going to take care of him, of you. Because you know what? God is responsible for providing for all our needs. Our responsibility is just to seek him first and have a spiritual focus. Uh, let's let's focus on God and uh, we know that we are not going to worry over anything but we have confidence that we are going to have true peace not just peace peace true peace real and God is going to be with you may the Lord bless you as you purpose to continue um, seeking his peace uh, in this new beginning uh, because you need peace so that you'll be able to see the end of this journey and even the end of this year you need to finish well finish in peace so that the Lord is going to be with you and even uh, be pleased with you you want to please God in everything you do and when you have the peace of God because he knows anytime you are in peace uh, you have peace with the uh, peace in God you know that you are pleasing him and um, that is what we want to do that is our desire and let's make him fast in our lives and you see and enjoy the peace because you know what when you don't allow God to be fast in your life you open doors to other things you hear news that you don't want to hear news that will actually get you out of ground out of sight I mean out of the presence of God because you worry you'll have anxiety because some of the news they are not even for building us they are for making us worry and worry and the more we worry the more we lose our focus the more we worry the more we are taken away and apart from the presence of god may the lord help you to seek him fast and have peace and the peace of god that is going to reign in your life as you continue knowing that you have the right standing with god if you have faith in god you have peace with god because Jesus our Lord has done, because of what Jesus Christ has done for us. God bless you for now. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Karuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundance Glory International Ministries. Uh, mother to the Amazing Champions and also Mother to the CMCs, that is the church ministers, children around the globe. Uh, please visit us, uh, visit our website at www.agracem.org for partnership and even for ways and means on how you can be part of this ministry and even support and become a partner in this ministry at the same time you can follow us on Facebook YouTube and even Instagram and Twitter at Bishop Dr. Grace Karuki or Karuki Bishop Dr. Grace at the same time also and on praying effectively for church ministers children on Facebook God bless you for now I look forward to hear from you as you continue to become a partaker of this great blessing of peace Shalom Shalom